Hello, Happy New Year, and welcome back to Enigmatic Retro Rewind. And today, we've got a special video, because I've got these two babies in front of me. This is my NECA Ninja Turtles 1990 bootleg comparison. That's right, let's do it. So right then, today we're doing an action figure video and I don't normally do them but I've been collecting NECA action figures for a while and I've started collecting the 1990 movie Ninja Turtles. Kicked it off with Raphael, he's my favourite turtle and my favourite turtle as a kid was Leo. So he was the next one I wanted and my girlfriend Sophie asked me what I wanted for Christmas. I said, well, I'd love a Leo NECA figure. So she went, right then, I'll, I'll see what I can do. So she went and had a look around, used a few different sites, you know how it is. These are not re as readily available as when they first came out. So a lot of the time you go to eBay. So she found someone selling them on eBay, looked fairly, you know, legit, you know, so ordered one, the right kind of price, not too cheap, not too expensive. And the one she got was this baby. So she got this one. This one arrived and Sophie knows a lot about action figures. So anyone else would probably just go, right, okay, that's that done. Tick that one off the Christmas list, move on to the next one. But she looked at this and immediately she was a bit underwhelmed. Hey. What? First of all, the head was all skew whiff in the box. It was kind of like it broke in his neck and she could see a large seam on the side of uh, Leo's head. And also under the chin, a big, big seam there as well. And just something looked a bit off. And she found out that bootlegs are a thing with these. So let's unbox these bad boys. Right, so first thing, if you look at these boxes from the front, the actual box design, there's not much difference at all. But on the back, Everything still looks similar. That's <laughs> that's actually the real one, the one that's torn, because I was going to open it, but then I decided to do this video. So everything looks pretty similar. But it's th this block of text here, the font is different. But not only that, on the fake one, this description of the turtle is Michelangelo's description not Leonardo's. <laughs> so you've got there Michelangelo and on this one that's the description of Leonardo so that's a bit of a sign, bit of a giveaway, it's just a cut and paste job and they've done it wrong. So I'll continue talking about the saga so we had getting this bad boy. So she contacted the seller saying I think you better uh, check your stock because something's not right with this, it, it's actually a fake and the, the seller was like no, it isn't. No, it isn't. This is genuine. And uh, she goes, no, it's not. It's got these problems. It it's, it's doesn't quite look right. I know figures. Eventually, uh, she sent him pictures and everything, adamant that it was real. Eventually, she did get some money knocked off, but still had to just buy another one for me, which I really appreciate because you couldn't get a complete refund. So, let's have a look at this guy. God, actually, the body proportion, if we just get him out very carefully, because he might fall to bits, because it is a bootleg. Right, here we go. See, the packaging there has been ripped a little bit, so it's been forced into this. Okay, so the arm bands here are backwards in the packaging. When does that ever happen with a proper NECA figure? Why, the arms are completely twisted round it. I mean, you can spin them round uh, and it looks okay, but I, I don't know whether they put it like that just so they could force it back into the plastic mold. I don't know, but 
anyway that just looks like the arms are on backwards which is another sort of alarm bell okay let's have a look at the back that's all skew with look at the belt design this is just all all over the place then your attention is drawn to the chest plate because it's a massive target area it's like your eyes just go straight to it and the coloring doesn't look right it looks really plain almost like a beige yellow kind of color there's no not real uh, like brown kind of tint to it like there is on the genuine one so that's another thing that's like oh what's going on there there's actually lots of subtle shaded bits on this so that's noticeably better on the real one this thing that sophie mentioned no, noticed first about the seam there is a seam on the real one but it's blended so well you can barely see it's there look at it on here there's a big crack it's like a big crack going through the head like very noticeable like you could just pull it apart next one the bandana and the eyes there's something off there apparently with the genuine necker ones sometimes the bandana isn't quite there and not lined up so that's a problem in general with the neck figures but it is really noticeable with the one i've got which is a really good wide eye holes in the bandana you can really see the because in the movie the eyes were really sort of prominent on the actual mate of the proper suits and you could really see the eye especially on the poster you got that shot like it's all the just just the bandanas with the eyes in the sewer look at the back see that is perfectly in the center of the figure the two holders for the sword there what is going on on this fake one it's just not attached properly and he kind of looks like he's sort of swaying to one side all the time because the weight of the, where the sword holders go is all twisted to one side and it's just not fixed in place properly on the genuine one and the weight is perfectly balanced and when you've got the swords in the holders he just looks really good there we go let's just get this one out and pop it in just looks perfectly like balanced between that look is that's that's the you want leo to look great when he's got his swords in the sheaths in his back and they've got to be like sort of perfectly lined up but you know either side of his head and look at the coloring and the shading on that one compared to the real one just doesn't look real it looks awful it's not only that it's like, look at how high are they look how high up they are it actually looks like it's come off where it's meant to be and it's <laughs> swords are about 10 foot in the air no not liking it at all it can jog on all right let's look at some of the accessories accessories not much to say about the accessories uh the only imperfection i could see with the accessories was on this sword here there is the silver paint is coming off and you can just see the black underneath so that's another inconsistency but other than that the, the accessories don't look too bad they don't look it could they could just have got used an accessory pack from a genuine one and just that happens to be uh, to have chipped off on that particular sword that could be the case the, the accessories don't look too bad so there we go what did you think did you think the differences are noticeable is it just me being a geek noticing these things would you know would you have noticed them if you didn't have the real one to compare it let me know in the comments for daily movie music and gaming nostalgia follow me over on instagram i'm harvey retro and i'll see you in the future talking about the past Right, thanks for watching guys. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like. If you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe. See you next time on Enigmatic Productions.